Okay, I've got a, my motor here set up and what I've got done is I've got one of the tape off of the coils here and I've got a temperature probe in there. Give me the temperature of the ambient. This motor has not been on all night. We've got about 17 or 18 degrees Celsius. 17 it says Celsius right there. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the motor for a few minutes and um, the back EMF is being recycled back into the motor and what's happening is the coils are getting very hot, hotter than they normally would with a straight uh, pulse of current going through there, not pulse, but a direct direct current going through the machine um, as if the motor was stopped and the switch was on. So there's obviously um, some extra energy being produced, I, I believe. Um, we're just going to do a little bit more testing on this, but I thought I'd document it and uh, show, show this in operation, show how hot these coils actually get um, and how much energy is being used. So I'll turn the machine on, let it run for a few minutes, and then take some readings and uh, show this again. And I believe it's around about two. 3,000 RPM, 3,300 is the top I've had it at. Okay, here's the motor spinning up the speed. Switches are kind of crapping out on me, they're getting old, I've been experimenting with them a bit too much, but as you can see there's a timing disc used to trigger these root switches here. And here I've got a meter to set on the Hertz scale, the frequency, and i got a coil attached to it here, right here, and I'll just place that on there, close to it. And the spinning magnets will give me a uh, frequency, which is just over 2000, 2001 or so, or 200, sorry, hertz. So you divide that by the magnets, which is 4 and times by 60, you end up with about 3000 RPM for this. And now we'll just move over and show, uh, there's the current, there's the, the voltage in cap A and the current that it's using. Um, and there's the current in the, that it's using on the other side, and less 500, that's about 800 milliamps or so, 600, it's about 600, and this one's about 500, and 12 volts on that side, so we can figure out the watts from there. And what's really strange is the temperature of these uh, coils, as you can see, the temperature probe, it's uh, 45 degrees, it's getting up to 112 Fahrenheit on the bottom there. And there's one of the switches that are just kind of fused on there. I'll get it going. Now, again, this motor has a very interesting characteristic. And that, I believe that it's getting so high is that there's a circulating current. The back EMF is being thrown into these caps and then thrown back into the motor. But I believe the circulating current is much higher than the actually applied uh, current going into this, which is just under an amp um, going into the whole thing at, a, at about averaging, say, 11 volts. So uh, it's about 11 watts or so. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the shaft here and I'm going to just uh, give it a little break, slow it down, and again show that this uh, particular motor, the circuits that I'm using and designing, they don't uh, show extra current draw when the shaft is loaded. As you can see, it's staying rock steady. Same with this one. Rock steady. Nothing going on there. It's slowed right down. Slowed, I can even slow it more. Watch as it speeds up. So again, the temperature, 120 degrees now, 48 Celsius. The coils are getting very hot, but that's the back EMF being recirculated into the coil. Um, again, we'll just show the current. There's voltage in the cap. Now this motor wasn't totally made really, um, totally accurate and all the windings are the same and everything. It's just kind of messed together, but I just wanted to try it, Let's try some different circuits out on it and give me a lot of um, ways of different ways of wiring this, so that's why I made this. And there's the front the switches. See these switches running. And you can see in here there's the coils. And there's magnets on either side of this rotor. And um, so that's really about it.
Well, I'm going to show. Let's take this reading of the temperature again just before we stop it. 47 degrees, 118 uh, Fahrenheit. So it's getting pretty warm. Okay, that's about it. Let's slow it down. As you can see, this actually, when I've got the circuit hooked up and I slow it down, it takes longer to stop than when there's no circuit hooked up. It's actually recapturing its own uh, um, its own uh, voltage and feeding it back into the system. So I'll unplug this really quickly and just watch it watch it slow down. See, the caps are drained now. You can see two volts in there or so. It does take a little bit to slow down. See, it's actually half a volt in there still. So it's capturing and, and its own voltage and recycling it back into itself. And that's it. The load on the uh, motor. I've got a, a fan blade on here from an old uh, heater. Come over to this side. You can see pretty well the size of it. And there's a full load on there. And I got my temperature probe hooked up here. First going to the gauge, temperature gauge here. And we've got 44 degrees of circulating current. 113 Fahrenheit, 45 Celsius, and of course the voltage in one of the caps, voltage in the other cap, and um, the current using, oh, let's see about an amp, using a little bit more for some reason, I don't think I've got it set up just right, but or 600 milliamps or 800 milliamps. Um, now, what I'm going to do is take an RPM reading. Hopefully, this will work. I've got my coil here. We've got uh, 140. So, with that, I can figure out the RPM. One of my fuses, our switches just fused, so. Uh, I'll stop the motor here. Let me just get a let me just hit it again and it speeds up. But to show that it's uh to show how much breeze we got um coming off the, the motor. There's you can see a bit of a bit of a breeze coming off there, holding this paper straight out. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's about it. There's a switch again. Got to replace these very delicate little suckers. You can hear it intermittently. Got too much power going through there. They're only rated an amp. I've probably got about three circulating in there. And, um, yeah, so, oh, I just wanted to also say that um, the back EMF is being recirculated back into the system and it's pulsing, what did I say, it was 100 and, how many hertz is that? 140 hertz, so it's uh, 280 times this, it's being cycled back into the system. There's 280 cycles per second this thing's firing at. And it, so that's uh, it's quite good, I would say. Running not too bad, considering. Anyway, that's it for now.